Hey everyone, my name is Joop from Income Tech Design and today I'm going to show you how to build a car rental website on WordPress. Um, this website is going to use Elementor Pro and Crocoblox, so if you have these tools, you're good to go. If you don't have them, you need to purchase them for either one site or unlimited sites. Um, if you don't have them yet, you can download them for, or you can buy them on Fiverr. Just search for Crocoblock and you will find people that will install WordPress, uh, Elementor Pro and Crocoblock for just $5 or 5 euros on your personal website. So that's a cheap solution to get it. Okay, so basically Crocoblock announced uh, or posted a blog post on October 15, 2020 to make a car rental website. So basically they have a blog post on how to do it and when I was doing it, I find it very confusing to work with. Um, they explain what everything is and how it works, but they don't explain how you should do it. So I thought, hey, I need this template anyways, let's make a video out of it. So, okay. I have my WordPress dashboard over here. This is where I'm going to install my um, uh, uh, Crocoblock um, template. So the plugins I've installed right now are MC Elementor and Elementor Pro. I see there is a new version, so I need to update that. So I'm going to update it now. So I have Elementor and Elementor Pro, and you also need some form of Crocoblock. Now Crocoblock does have a um, installation wizard. So if you do have a Crocoblock account, you can just log into your account. And then you see at the bottom of the section installation and then it says Crocoblock wizard. So you're just good to go if you download this one. I already done that. So what you need to do is you need to upload this plugin. So we're gonna upload it. Let's go into downloads. Here it is, Crocoblock Wizard, install now. And activate the plugin. So now it's gonna activate our Crocoblock uh, skin. Before we do that, I also want to show you the theme that I'm using. So if you go to appearances, themes, you can see I'm using the Hello Elementor theme as it is very lightweight and really good to use for Elementor. So let's go into Jet Plugins and says install Crocoblock, let's go. All you need to do is click on let's go and it's gonna ask you for your license key. Now this license key can be found in your Crocoblock account. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my Crocoblock account real quick. Am I gonna show you this obviously? Uh, and I am going to copy my license key and paste it in. All right, there we go. It's installed. So now what you can see is full Crocoblock installation or Jet Plugins installation. What you need to do is to full Crocoblock installation and click on install. Now it's going to ask you what team that you want, which theme you want to use with Crocoblock. I'm just going to continue with my current team, which is also the Hello Elementor. So I don't need to set install. I can just continue with your current team. I was going to ask you for some templates. You can see you have design templates, pretty cool. So you don't need to design any of these stuff yourself, but what you need to do is go to dynamic templates, scroll down and click on rent go, as this is the website that we are going to import. Pretty cool if you ask me. There are several cars here. You can also browse for cars, search for cars based on location and classes, dates. You now you can click on a car, get specific information with some pictures, some uh, additional options, pick up and return dates. So it's pretty cool. So let's install this one by clicking on start installation. Now it's going to navigate to the next uh, window and it's going to ask you to install some several plugins. I'm only going to go with required plugins. You also have extra plugins here, but I'm not going to do these. It's recommended if you want additional functionality to your website. I don't need this. I'm actually going to go with the required plugins. So you're just going to click on continue. And now it's going to install every plugin. Okay, so now that everything is installed, we get to the next screen. Uh, I just knocked over my cup of coffee, so uh, I had an immense blooper. I was cleaning my desk in the meantime of installing. You can check the end of the video for the blooper. Anyway, um, next we get to this screen, which is the demo content import. It says append demo content to existing content or replace my existing content with the demo content. We don't have any content, so basically just select the uh, last one replace existing content 
gonna click on continue and you need to answer yeah, your uh, WordPress password. So I'm just gonna see if you, no, you can't see what I'm typing. Okay, so uh, let me see. Is it the right one to confirm? Yes. So now it's gonna try to install everything. Uh, it's going for terms, custom database tables, all the media, which are the images, the authors for blog posts. Uh, there are not any blog posts that we know of, so there won't be any authors. So it's just gonna import one, which is the creator of the theme. And the posts, 92 posts. Um, these are the custom post types, obviously, which are the cars. So we're gonna wait for this to install, and then we're good to go. Okay guys, so we're back, it's on 100% and I know that it's not inserting anything. You see we have 0, 1, 0, 3, it's not completely done with the terms, but it doesn't matter. We can just click on continue. And now it's gonna regenerate our thumbnails for us, so it's gonna go and uh, do this as well. Um, and we just need to wait for this to load. Okay, so now it's done. It says, congratulations, you're all set. Choose where you'd like to start. Take a look at your site, proceed editing pages or go to the Croco block dashboard. What we want to do is we can see what happens if we click on editing pages. Yeah, it's just gonna go here. We don't need to do anything here. We can first go over to the dashboard and we need to do a couple of things. We have to update our database and update the database again for some reason okay now everything is up to date and as you can see at the left side here we have uh, some new things we have cars as you can see it added some cars it added 58 items in, in total which is quite nice uh, so these are the cars so let's go ahead and take a look at the website and what to turn out to be Okay, there we go. All right, so as you can see, it's not entirely loading the way we want. Um, we do have the cars and we do have the rest, but we don't have a footer. And we also don't have a header. So how can we fix this? It's actually quite easy. All we need to do is we need to go to templates and it says one template, that's a default kit uh, that it installed. So we need to click on add new. And we're gonna say header and we're gonna name this Adder. There we go. Create template. All right, now we don't want to do any of this. We want to click this way, and now we see a new button here, and that is actually Croco Block Installation Wizard button. So we we're going to click on this. It's going to load. And then we can see that if we go to headers, if we go to my library, now it says header for sub pages, header for front page. We want to insert the header for the front page. So it's now like this. We can publish it and show it on the entire site. Now we want to go back into the dashboard and we want to add a new template, which is going to be a. Let's just go to templates, click on add new. Let's select the footer. Where is it? Footer, or just gonna type a footer. Create template. Loading, loading, loading. Get rid of this, click on the Croco block button, go to my library and set footer, insert. And there you have your footer. You can now edit this if you wish. I'm gonna publish it to the entire site, save it. Okay, I go back to the dashboard, I review the page. And as you can see, now we have our header in place. We have our website in place. And if we get down, we have our footer in place as well. Okay, cool. So now what we can we do? We're gonna click on a car and you can see it's not working the way we want to do. So let me see, how can we fix this? We can't fix anything with Elementor. So what we have to do 
is we would have to make it templates. Click on add new. And we're gonna say it's going to be a single product. Let me see what do we have. Single post, single page, archive, single product. We're gonna go with single post and we're gonna type car. So create the template. Now it's loading. Now what we can do is we can go into the Crocodile block, click on my library, and then we have single car. So we'll insert this. All right, now it brings up a single car. Now, if you want to preview changes, you're able to do that because now it always sets the data. So what we need to do is we need to click on settings, preview settings, and then here you can see single cars, apply and preview, and it's going to select a specific car, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, it's not doing any of that which is quite strange. We need to set a specific car, perhaps. So let's just say cars, all, big A, something with an A. This one looks fine, Toyota. Let's see what happens. Ah, there we go, it picks the Toyota now. Cool. All right, so now what we have to do is, we, if you want, you can change the styling around here. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna click on publish, add condition. Now, this is quite important. What you have to do, is you need to click on cars. Uh, let me see, cars. And then we say all, and we save and close. Now, if we go back into, we view the page, just click on go, and we select a specific car. As you can see, now the car view is working as well. All right, cool, so now how do we make sure that if we search for a car, so if you pick, let's see, Florida, we'll say luxury, and we search for this. Oh, as you can see, it's already working, cool. So it shows all kinds of cars. Now we even have filters that we can filter on, remove all filters, and now we have all cars. And as you can see, we can select manual, we can select four, wheel there we go so that's our website now there is one thing and that's that the uh, header is kind of white here and I don't want that to be because the background is white as well so what I need to do is I need to set the header with a different uh, parameter and add a new header for sub pages so you can click on the arrow next to update and I can click on display options I can remove this uh, option and add a new condition and set singular uh, pages and then we want to say the home page if we even have an home page uh, so let's see what this is uh, this is the dashboard what's it called let me see pages probably something like front page yeah there we go front page so uh, display conditions and we want to say front front page there we go save and close now we exit to the dashboard we click on templates and we click a new template uh, this is a header as well and I'm gonna do a sub page header there we go it's already there create template Do -do -do -do. wait for this to load exit out of here click on the crocodile block ins installation button my library and then we have the sub page header there we go, header for sub pages, insert. There we go, now it has a white background, as you can see, with a different logo. So we're gonna publish this, and we're gonna include it on the entire site, but we're going to exclude it on the home page. So now we say singular uh, front page. There it already is. We want to exclude it on the front page. So save and close. Now, let's view this page and go to the home page. Here we go, now we have the normal header. And if we click on a car, you can see we have a different header. Cool. So now that's it. Um, congratulations, you've instantly created your first uh, car rental website. Um, we have inserted the template based on Quirkle Block. We have inserted the header, we've inserted the footer. 
and we also made sure that the dynamic data designs are working. Now, this is how you start with it. Uh, I can also go and explain how you can add cars, add it cars, add different parameters, add it this website around. I can make a tutorial for that. Please let me know what you think, if I should do it, yes or no. In the meantime, I'm gonna add the video right now and I'm going to work on a new video and uh, it's going to be the WooCommerce uh, episode two. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Everything's gonna smell like coffee now. <laughs> it already did, but now even more. <laughs>